when you come to fellowship, we're going to teach you how to apply the laws to increase your understanding. Right. We're going to teach you which precepts go with which points. Right. Which lines go with which lines so right. you can get the understanding. Hey, shalom, bro. My, my name is Yehoshua. Um, you asked a real good question. You know, you said, uh, man, I've read the Bible a few times, but I always get lost in it. And the brother gave you a, a great way to help you build in your study and your understanding. It's just a little bit more I want to give you as, as far as what you'll get if you start fellowshipping and congregating. When I start. When you start fellowshipping and congregating. Because congregating is a law. God requires that we fellowship with one another. But uh, go to uh, Acts chapter chapter 8, verse 30. It's an important point that we got to understand about uh, how we're going to get the understanding of the Bible. You got verse 30? Uh, start, at, start at verse 28. Uh, give me, yeah, 28 is good. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 28. Was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Let's start at 27. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 27. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia and Enoch of great authority. A eunuch. A so, eunuch. So th this is a brother that was uh, an Israelite that was living in Ethiopia at the time. Read. A eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. That's how we know it was an Israelite, because only the Israelites came to Jerusalem to worship. It was a law. Three times a year, you got to come back to Jerusalem and keep the feast days. Keep reading. Verse 28, was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Isaiah the prophet. So this, this, this Israelite that lived in Ethiopia was reading the scriptures. He was reading the, the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. Read. Then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to his chariot. To this chariot. So Philip was a well-studied brother, a well-studied Israelite that was living in Jerusalem at the time, read. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So this brother like, like us, Philip is like us. You know, we, we've studied the laws, we're practicing the laws, and he saw a brother similar to yourself that was studying the scriptures, and this is the question that he asked. And said, understandest what thou readest? So essentially that's what we're saying to you. So like we know you know about the doctrine, What's your understanding? What are the questions that you have? And this was the response the brother had. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? Uh -huh. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. So the spirit of the scriptures, the spirit of the Lord, it, it deals with order. So the men that came before you, that the most I gave the understanding, when you come to fellowship, that's where you'll get the understanding from. They'll, they'll sit down with you. We'll discuss the scriptures with you. We'll, we'll answer the questions that you have. We'll make sure that all the doctrines that we learn here in Babylon get, you know, rooted out. And we're going to build you up. And then it's, we're going to teach you how to study the scriptures. Go to uh, Isaiah 28. It's a specific way that you have to read the Bible also. It's, it's, matter of fact, it's, it's levels to being able to understand the Bible. We're going to go through a couple of them real fast. And then the soldier will come back up. You got that? The book, the book of Isaiah. Chapter 28 and verse 9. Bring it out. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Who is the most high God going to teach the knowledge of this Bible? Because everybody didn't crack the Bible open and try to give their understanding of it. The white man did it. The, the, the pork chop eating pastor in the local Christian church then did it. But none of those men have given us the true understanding of the Bible. Why is that? Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who is God going to make to understand his own doctrine? Because the Bible says the understanding of the law comes from the Lord. So it's not just from reading it. Like the spirit has to be given to you to understand it. Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. So in order to get the understanding of the Bible, it says you must be weaned from the milk. And what else? And drawn from the breast. That means we must repent. We must be born again. Who are those that are weaning from the milk? Babies. Christ said you got to come like a little child. You got to start your whole life over in order to understand this Bible. That means all the understanding that we thought we had in the world, that we thought we got from grandma with her dusty Bible that she don't know nothing about, that 
the, the lying pastors on Sunday morning, you know, so-called taught us, we got to put all that stuff away and start over again. That's the way we're going to get the understanding of the Bible. Right. But keep going. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Uh -huh. Line upon line. Uh -huh. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. So the Bible says that we must study and learn precept upon precept, line upon line. What was your name again? I didn't catch it. Nathan. Yeah, that's, that's a, Nathan is a prophet in the Bible. Nathan was uh, the understudy of, I think, uh, Isaiah. I can't remember. Y'all have to help me out. But uh, the Bible says you must study precept upon precept. Meaning what? I get the understanding of the New Testament by studying the Old Testament. I get the understanding of the Old Testament by seeing what Christ expounded on in the New Testament. I go to the Apocrypha, and I go all around the Scripture studying one particular topic to get the understanding of that topic. But Christianity, they've taught us something different. You know, they pull a Scripture like John 3.16, and say, well, the world means everybody. But when you study, when you study line upon line, precept upon precept, the world that the Bible is dealing with is the world of Israel, the world of the Israelites, the people you see on this sign right here, and that's it. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't, don't forget your question. It's two other points that I want you to get on how to uh, how you gonna understand this Bible. Uh, Psalms 111 and 10. Because it, it don't matter, it don't matter who you are. You know, if, if, if you're not doing what the Bible says, the Most High is not going to give you the understanding of it. So the first thing that I wanted you to note, you must study line upon line, precept upon precept. And we're, we'll be able to teach you that. Like what the brother was bringing out, you must come in fellowship. We'll teach you how to do that. This is another element to understand the Bible. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. A good understanding. You want to understand the Bible. We all want to understand the Bible. Right? Right? Read. Have all they. Read it again. A good what? A good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments. The Bible says a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So when you begin applying God's commandments, the Most High begins to increase your understanding. You see that? So when you examine yourself and you and you align yourself with the scriptures so when you look in the mirror and you see i got a shaved face but then you look in the bible and the bible says a man cannot shave his face once you stop shaving your beard the most high then gives you a little bit more understanding right when the bible says that you must fellowship and congregate on the sabbath day and you say you know what i'm gonna stop going to the tiny giant the happy shopper the smoker's choice. I'm going to stop going there on Saturday. I'm going to honor the Lord on his Sabbath day. That's right. He's going to help you to understand more of what you start to read and study line upon line, precept upon precept. You see how that works? All right. And it's, uh, it's one more element. You got to be an Israelite. He's only showed his word to Jacob. He's only showed his word to Israel. You got what I want? So you got to be an Israelite. The only way for you to understand this Bible, you must be keeping the commandments. You must study line upon line, precept upon precept, and you must be an Israelite. You got that? 147. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word. He, the most high God, showeth his word, this Bible, read. Unto Jacob. Unto the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And this is his nation right here. These are the only people that can understand this Bible. Right. So when the white man is taking this book from King James, which was a black man, and tried to retranslate it and give you a new international version, Bring it up. you know what he's giving you? Lies. Right. That's right. Lies. Lies upon lies. Read. Read that he, again. He showeth his word unto Jacob. This word is only showed to Jacob. Read. Right. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto the nation of Israel that you see right there, which includes the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. That's it. Right. That's it. Read. He has not dealt so with any nation. The Bible says that the Most High God has not dealt so with any other nation. Yes, the only That's nation right. of people that the, God, that the Most High God deals with is people that look like us. Right. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Northern Kingdom over there, and Native yes. Americans. That's it. That's right. So if you're not an Israelite, if you're not keeping the commandments, if you're not studying line upon line, get the understanding of the Bible. But when you come, when, remember we, we didn't say if, when you come to fellowship, we're going to teach you how to apply the laws. 
to increase your understanding. Right. We're going to teach you which precepts go with which points. Right. Which lines go with which lines so right. you can get the understanding. Right. And we're going to teach you your nationality and how you will know without a doubt, by fact, that you are a child of Israel. That's right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.